The side lengths of a rectangle determine both its area and its perimeter. Sometimes you are given the perimeter and you have to find the area. How can you do this? Let's look at a sample problem. The length of rectangle Y is 9 centimeters. Its perimeter is 26 centimeters. Find the area of rectangle Y. With area and perimeter problems, it can be helpful to start by drawing a model and labeling it with the information we know. Here's rectangle Y. We know its perimeter is 26 centimeters and one of its side lengths is 9 centimeters. Check what the question is asking for. In this problem, we are asked to find the area. Area is the amount of space inside the rectangle. To find it, multiply length times width. Well, we don't have enough information to find the area yet. We know the length is 9, but we don't know the width. But we do know the perimeter. We can work backward from the perimeter to find the width. We know perimeter equals length plus length plus w plus w. We'll let L stand for length and W stand for width. For this rectangle, perimeter is 26 and L equals 9. So 26 equals 9 plus 9 plus W plus W. If we add the 9s, we get 26 equals 18 plus W plus W. Think, 26 equals 18 plus what? Well, 26 equals 18 plus 8. So W plus W must equal 8. Remember, the width is the same on both sides of the rectangle. Both w's have the same value. So what number added to itself makes 8? 4 plus 4 equals 8. So the width of the rectangle is 4 centimeters. Can we find the area now? We can. w equals 4, so area equals 9 times 4. The area is 36 centimeters squared. Let's use this same strategy to solve a more complex problem. Will plans to build a rectangular pen for his chickens. He has 20 feet of chicken wire to use for the perimeter. Draw a rectangle on the grid with the largest possible area in square feet that he can make from his chicken wire. Each square represents one square foot. To solve this problem, we need to look at all the rectangles with a perimeter of 20 and see which one has the largest area. Perimeter is the distance around a figure, so to find it, we'll add length plus width plus length plus width. These should add up to 20. Finding four numbers that add up to 20 is a lot. Let's look for a simpler way. Imagine I just add one length and one width. What fraction of the way around the rectangle did I go? I went halfway around. I've covered half of the perimeter, which is easier to figure out. If the whole perimeter is 20 feet, then half is 10 feet. So the sum of L and W must be 10. What are some pairs of numbers that add to 10? 1 plus 9 equals 10. If the length of the rectangle is 1 and the width of the rectangle is 9, the perimeter will be 20 because 1 plus 1 plus 9 plus 9 equals 20. Here are some other possible lengths. What would be the width for each of them? For a length of 2, there's a width of 8 because 2 plus 8 equals 10. If the length is 3, the width is 7 because those numbers make 10. If the length is 4, the width is 6. And if the length is 5, the width is also 5. We can stop here because a rectangle with a length of 6 would have a width of 4. This is the same as the rectangle with a length of 4 and a width of 6, just turned on its side. We need to know which of these length and width pairs would lead to the largest area. So find the area of each by multiplying length and width. 25 is the largest area, so we need to draw a rectangle with a length of 5 and a width of 5. First, check to make sure the perimeter is really 20. 20 does equal 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, so this is the correct rectangle. On the grid, this rectangle has a length of 5, a width of 5, a perimeter of 20, and an area of 25. That's the largest possible area with a perimeter of 20. In this video, you learn to find the area of a rectangle when you know its perimeter. Thanks for watching.